In this video, we'll learn how to find the correct membrane shape for a shade sail with four fixed points and a cable edge. We'll start with this blue 3D polyline frame that I created earlier in AutoCAD. As you can see, each of the frame's vertices represent the top of a fixed pole. The top right-hand corner vertice is significantly raised above the other three. These four vertices will define the fixed points of the mesh. While we're actually making the mesh, however, we don't need the poles, which are for visualization purposes only and might be a little confusing when we're trying to work with the mesh. So we'll go up here and hide the layer that the poles are on so that we just have our mesh. We'll also change our view to 3D wireframe since that's the view we generally work in. The first thing we'll do is use the in-panel model builder to add a basic arbitrary shape mesh onto this frame. We'll use the default options this time, but you can always vary the number of threads. Make sure that draw corner mesh is selected on the model builder and click it. The AutoCAD text box down here tells us to specify the bottom left corner, which is right here. Now it says specify the bottom right corner, the top right corner, and the top left corner. And now we have our mesh. To form find the correct shape for this mesh, select the mesh and the 3D poly, and run the Relax Cable Edge Meshes tool, which is right here. This will add cables on all the mesh edges and determine the natural force balance shape for the mesh. Let's delete our old mesh, which is in red, and now we have our new mesh, in white. When you're relaxing meshes, you can get different shapes by changing the weft warp stress ratio. But for now, let's try increasing the tension in the top and bottom cables by changing the cable tension ratio. We'll put it at 2. Click OK. And now select the 3D polyline and the frame again and run the relaxation once more. This time we have a new mesh with the top and bottom cable significantly tightened up. Let's delete the old one, get a better look at it. As you can see, we now have a lot less slack. At this point, let's put our poles back into the model so that we can see how the mesh is going to look on top of the poles. Let's go ahead and look at this in shaded. And now you can see the new mesh in white and the old blue polyline and you can see how the shape of the mesh has been significantly shifted. The next thing we'll do is explore how to add a guy line to one of the corners of the structure. To do this We'll hide our poles so they don't confuse us and go back to wireframe. Now we'll go ahead and put our model in top view because it can be difficult to draw a guy line when the model is at an odd angle. Ampanel recognizes any line in AutoCAD as a link. Before we draw our line, however, we want to make sure that ortho is on. That will make sure that the line falls in the right plane. We'll also make sure that O-Snap is on. O-Snap will help us put our lines exactly where we want them. What we're going to do is draw a short line from any corner of the model to a free point in space. Then we'll select the mesh and snap the corner node of the mesh to the end of that line we just drew. Uh, let's try that again. There we go. Well, once we've done that, we'll select the mesh the polyline and the new guy line and run the relaxation again. The new relaxed mesh will have the guy line oriented correctly according to the corner forces. Let's delete the old mesh and let's go ahead and put our new mesh in orbit so that we can see what it looks like in 3D. And as you can see, the top left corner of the mesh now has a guy line. Now let's try some paneling. We'll start by going to the options under Panel Complete Mesh. 
We'll go ahead and specify the number of panels. Let's try four. Remember that the panels must divide directly into the mesh. We'll leave the other settings as they are and click OK. Now select just the mesh and click Panel Complete Mesh. Let's go back into orbit to see what we're working with. Now we have these flat 2D panels in the XY plane underneath the mesh. And of course we can move them wherever we want. When doing any kind of paneling, an important thing to keep an eye on is the shear strain. The shear strain is the amount that the flat panel must distort in order to fit the surface of the curved mesh. You can find the shear strain by using the In Panel Info tool. Click on any panel, then click on the Info tool, and it will give you the information about that panel, including the panel width and the shear strain. The typical shear strain limit for PVC coated polyester fabric is around 1%. Right here it tells us that our shear strain is 0.211%, so that's clearly acceptable. You'll want to make a habit of regularly checking your shear strain for each panel as you're paneling in order to make sure that it's within the prescribed limits. And here we can scroll up if we want and see the shear strain and the panel width for each individual panel. And that is the end of our exercise. We've now learned how to create, adjust, and panel a shade sail with four fixed points and a cable edge.